Welcome to the Dreway. I am glad you're here. It's the Dreway. We're counting down the days until the president. The newly elected president, Donald Trump, takes office. And I think we got, what What are we at, 68 now or something like that? I don't know the exact count. I'm sure it's on my front cover. But we're counting down the days until Trump becomes president. And one of the things I want to talk about before we get started today is I want to talk about what took place yesterday and what my feelings are on the whole thing because I think the Donald Trump pre uh, presidency, I think it's over already. I think it's over before it really even gets started because the, the nominations that he made yesterday make it very clear to everybody, you know, very clear to everyone that he's not really serious, that Donald Trump has the intentions of running everything because Tabby Galbert or whatever her name is and, and Matt Gates, you know, you're going to put uh, this Tabby woman in charge of intelligence. And Matt Gates, Matt Gates, who's under investigation and suspicion of transporting a minor and having drugs and sex with her and all kinds of other allegations, that is your pick for attorney general? See, how, how are you supposed to be taken seriously? And in all honesty, you know, what, what is going on? How do we think this is okay? How do we think this is, if you're a Republican, what's the matter with you? Why do you think this is okay? Why do you think it's okay to put somebody with no qualifications whatsoever? Why don't you look up who, who our past attorney generals have been, you know, and, and, and the, the integrity and the, the, just the, the ability that they come to the office with. And then you have Donald Trump creating a complete clown show, which basically tells everyone this is not a real presidency. This is not what Donald Trump is doing. He's putting people in place that he can simply tell what to do and when to do it. That's not how our government is supposed to be run. And you know it. You know that's not it. it you, can you imagine what our founding fathers would think today? First of all, our founding fathers would look at us and go, how the hell did you put someone that tried to attack the government before back in the White House? How do you do that? And, and you'd have to sit there and go, well, you know, there's a certain a part of the electorate that is uh, dumb and they put him back. You know, they like the way that he talks dumb, acts dumb, just like them. And yeah, if, if you supported Donald Trump, I'm calling you dumb because we're, we're, we're finding that out right now. We're, we're, we're experiencing it right now. I'm sorry, but Matt Gates as attorney general, that's dumb. Gabby, Gabby, whatever liberal, whatever, whatever her last name is. I can't even pronounce it. Gabbard intelligence. With no experience. I mean, how do you think other countries are going to treat us? How do you think other countries aren't going to look at what is being done and be like, we're going to count down the next four years. We're going to just leave America over there and you and I talk and we'll talk and we'll leave them alone for the next four years because that is what I would do. Make no mistake about it. I would sit there, if I was any other country, I'd be like, yeah, he's back in charge again and he's putting a bunch of people with no experience whatsoever in charge of these departments. So yeah, we won't be talking to them for the next four years. Yeah, and that, and that inherently, just so you understand, puts our nation at risk. It puts all of us at risk, but that's what we voted for, remember? A majority of Americans voted for this complete, total nonsense. This is what you voted for, and this is what you're going to get. You're going to get four years of America being left out. 
And I say it's going to be left out because that's exactly what's going to happen. You know, I, I wouldn't tell America, you're going to give America intelligence? You're going to give it to Donald Trump? You're going to give it to Tabby Gelford or Guilford or whatever? You're going to give her intelligence? You know, you're, you're going to confide in those people and put your citizens and your country and your people at risk? No. No. That's not what they're going to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, you guys don't understand. Uh, other countries are now looking at us going, what the F did you just do? And this guy, Donald, first of all, Donald's not going to be in the White House. Donald Trump isn't going to be sitting in the White House going, okay, well, we need to do this and we need to. No, he wasn't in the White House last time. You know what he was doing? He was visiting his properties so that the security had to get rooms in his properties and he could charge a thousand dollars a night. It's just a profit center for him. That's all this is about. It's about making money. He wasn't in the White House last time. He was playing golf or at one of his properties. He doesn't even like the White House. He thinks the White House is kind of dumpy. He likes his place down in mar -a Largo better than the White House. So I don't know what you guys expected. I don't know what you guys are thinking, but around the world, people are using one word over and over again. Dumb, 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 dumb. That's what they think what we did. That's what the, uh, they think what we did is just plain dumb. And these appointments, these appointments have ruined Donald Trump from the beginning. Because I want you to understand in all likelihood, if history repeats itself like it often does, the, 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 the op opposition party does well in the midterms. So it's very likely that Democrats take charge of the House in two years. And I can promise you, if the House is taken over in two years, Trump's presidency is over. But it may be over right now. It could be over right now before it ever gets started because you can't make clown picks. You can't pick absolute clowns to run the, 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 the Secretary of Defense, Attorney General, the head of the intelligence. I mean, you're putting clowns in charge and the whole world sees it. The whole world knows it. So what is the country, what are, what are countries going to do? They're going to avoid America for four, the next four years. They're going to be like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll call Canada or I'll call Mexico or we'll call but we're not going to call the United States. Yeah, we're not going to involve them because we don't know that these, these things that we would say would be secure. That's the position we've put America in. And that's why I feel that already, already that the, the Trump presidency is over with because he's lame duck the minute he walks in anyway. Everybody knows he's gone in four years. And believe me, the minute that man hits the White House, people are going to be looking at their watch going, how fast can these four years go? Welcome to the Dre way. I'm glad you're here. I'm sorry I had to get off on that rant, but let me know what you think in the comments. Is Donald Trump's presidency already over before it ever starts because he's picking complete morons for his cabinet? Let me know in the comments and welcome. Welcome to the Dre way. A lot more to talk about. One of the major defeats Tom, uh, that uh, Donald Trump already faced is in the Senate. Trump wanted Rick Scott in the Senate from Florida because Rick Scott would do whatever Trump wanted to do. But yeah, it didn't work out that way. And Mitch McConnell made sure it didn't work out that way because Mitch McConnell made sure that it was a secret ballot that Republicans could pick the man they wanted and not get any retribution from Donald Trump. So... I, I, I find it hard to say this, but hats off to McConnell because McConnell doesn't think of much of, of Donald Trump anyway and knows that he's not really a true American. And, Do and McConnell feels that from, from here. He doesn't like Donald Trump. But the person they, that they put in charge, John Thune from, from uh, South Dakota, he's, he, he, he understands the assignment. 
He understands that Russia is not our friend and that Ukraine is important. He's an old, more of an old style Republican. He's not a MAGA. He doesn't even particularly like Donald Trump. And, and so I, I have a silver lining of hope. I have a silver lining of hope that the, the Senate is going to be a bit of a backstop. Now, remember, it's still all, it's still going to be run by Republicans, but I don't think that the, the Senate is going to just, because there are, there are a number of moderates in there, and I don't think they're just going to let Donald Trump do whatever he wants. So I think for the, at least for the next couple of years, they're going to put some restraints on Donald Trump. And like I've said before, hopefully after that, um, you know, the, the Democrats are able to take back the House. But Thune is going to be responsible, as responsible as you can hope for any Republican to be. So that is the one silver lining that we have in all this. Donald Trump isn't going to just be able to do whatever he wants. And I'm hoping, of course, one of the big backstops is that for, for under no circumstances are they going to let Matt Gates become the Attorney General of the United States. And, and, and my true feeling on that is that's kind of a slap in the face to every woman. Here this guy is under suspicion of statutory rape, and you put him up for Attorney General? Women have to be sitting there going, what the F? I mean, it's just a gross thing to do. But it's, it's again, I'd like to say I'm shocked, but I, I, I'm telling you uh, absolutely everything and anything Donald Trump does is no longer a shock. It's just, it's just no longer a shock. But let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, is Thune going to be a thorn to Donald Trump? Is Thune going to be a thorn? Let me know in the comments. More to talk about. I keep getting a lot of comments. A lot of you are writing to me asking about real estate. And uh, you keep asking me the same questions. Is it, is it a good time to buy? Are interest rates going to go down? Just so you know, every single thing that Donald Trump has planned, whether it be deportations or tariffs, or anything that Donald Trump has talked about and has planned to do for this country, all of those things are inflationary. All of them are highly inflationary. And if Donald Trump comes into office and starts implementing some of the things that he wants to do, that's going to cause inflation to go up. Now, with inflation going up, you can't lower interest rates. So where do I see interest rates in 2025? We've talked about this a little bit uh, already, but for, for many of you that keep asking, uh, I think the real estate market is going to be at a dead standstill for the most part throughout the United States. Are there going to be areas of interest around New York or around Boston and stuff like that? Of course there is. But down south, yeah, in, in Texas and in Florida, there's going to be an increase in foreclosures. A lot of those places are going to suffer. And a lot of those people that are trying to sell right now, they're not going to sell a month from now, three months from now, six months from now. It's going to be extremely difficult in this environment. As long as interest rates are hovering around 7%, it's going to be hard to ignite any type of uh, real estate rush. Yeah, I, I, in, in fact, I think just the opposite. If Donald Trump comes into office and starts implementing any of the things that he's been talking about, any of them, whether it be the tariffs, which tariffs are just taxes on you and me, if he starts doing that or starts deporting people, that's going to be highly inflationary and interest rates will have to go up, not down. So what do I think about 2025 for real estate? I, I've said it once and I keep saying it to you guys uh, until you get it through your head. Um, expect a very rocky uh, existence in real estate in 2025. Right now, mortgage applications, mortgage applications are at an all time low. And buyers, you know, buyers aren't out, out there unless you really know what you're doing. You know, if, if, if you need help selling your house, I can certainly show you ways to, to improve your chances at selling your home and I can help you. 
if you're looking at selling your home, just put a comment in the, in the thing and I'll get in contact with you. Just say, hey, I need help selling my home. And I'd love to show you some ideas on how to get that done. But just the typical throw it up for sale and, and, and hope something happens. Yeah, that's not going to work in 2025, you know, but let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about real estate in 2025. I'm glad you're with me here on the Drayway. I have one more thought before you go over the last, uh, last few, uh, over the last week, the last few days, you know, a lot of you have sent me messages saying that you're, you're, you're nervous, you have anxiety, you're scared. You're, I, I mean, a lot of you have had some really great concerns and I understand and I hear you, but this, this much I want you to know, okay? The United States of America is greater than any one man. And for the last 10 years, we've been involved with this one very bad man that lies about everything, doesn't come through with anything he talks about. It's just one lie after another, after another, and he accomplishes nothing as usual. All his life, Donald Trump has accomplished nothing. He has made money by borrowing money and not paying people back and by not paying taxes. That's how this man has made his money. So don't, I, I don't want you to worry about this country. This country is a lot bigger than Donald Trump. Donald Trump is going to spend the next four years doing a whole lot of nothing. He's going to be playing golf. He's going to be talking at the mouth. And basically, he, it's tick tock, tick tock until his time is done. And in another four years from now, he will be nothing but a distant history. And America will go on bigger and better than ever. It, it, will, it will erase him so fast he will be nothing but a stain on history because America is all that. America, what really makes this country great, we will get back to. We will shake him off like a flea and we will get back to what makes America great, what makes this country so amazing. And what makes this country so amazing and make no mistake about it, it's about all the people from around the world coming together and, and, and experiencing freedom and prosperity that America brings. And we all get together, we share our, our different cultures, our different existences around the world, and we come together in this great experiment called America. And let me tell you something, that guy is gonna be nothing but a distant memory, but the culture and the, the vivaciousness of America is going to come right back and be better than ever. This country, when we're done with him, is going to be better than ever. I promise you. That's it for the Dre way. I just had to get that off my chest. I'm glad you joined me. I hope you join me tomorrow for the Dre way. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and go do something nice for somebody else. We'll see you again tomorrow.